It's not who you think it is. Unless you think it's young JFK, then it's definitely who you think it is. You're President Kennedy? <laughs> President of what? What's today's date? April 5th. What year? 2018. It's the Kennedy curse. Your secret's safe with me. Welcome to Screen Recaps, and today we are going to recap Season 2, Episode 5 of Timeless Name, The Kennedy Curse. The movie opens up in the year 1934 in Connecticut, where a teenage John F. Kennedy is approached by his math teacher in school, who pulls a gun on him. Before any harm can be done, an unnamed man intervenes and shoots the teacher dead. Traumatized by the incident, JFK is then taken to the year 2018, where two men, revealed to be time travelers, exit a time machine with an unconscious JFK. One of the time travelers, Wyatt, explains to his colleagues that the mysterious organization called Rittenhouse had attempted to assassinate JFK. Wyatt and his team, part of the lifeboat organization, brought JFK to the present to protect him from the threat posed by Rittenhouse, whose goal is to negatively alter the course of history using time-traveling assassins. Wyatt promises to return JFK to his time once the danger is averted. Meanwhile, JFK regains consciousness and starts questioning the situation. Wyatt, attempting to calm him, fabricates a story about being private security hired by JFK's father. However, JFK panics even more. Lucy, a history teacher in the lifeboat team, uses her knowledge of JFK's family to calm him down. She assures him that he'll meet his father soon. The team leaves JFK alone, but he escapes through a small tunnel in the basement, creating a challenge for the lifeboat team. If they don't find JFK quickly, Rittenhouse may succeed in killing him, altering history significantly. Lucy and another colleague decide to search for JFK. Meanwhile, JFK reaches a nearby department store and is shocked by the technological advancements in the year 2018. He tries to use a payphone but realizes they are no longer in use. When he finds a magazine with the date, he learns that he has been kidnapped to the future. Anxious and fearing the kidnappers will find him, JFK requests a lift from a group of teenagers heading to Palo Alto. Back at the basement, the lifeboat team uses CCTV footage to locate JFK with concerns that Rittenhouse might have already found and killed him. However, a theory is proposed that as long as they know JFK, he may have returned to his time and become the president. Wyatt and his team reach the department store, and when the cashier suspects them of being kidnappers, Lucy creates a story about JFK being her sick brother to gain information about his whereabouts. In the cashier's revelation, it's disclosed that JFK is headed to Palo Alto with a group of teenagers in a red BMW. The scene shifts to JFK on his way to Palo Alto with his newfound friends. He attempts to explain his kidnapping by mysterious folks, but no one believes him. Suddenly, he experiences a sharp pain in his stomach prompting Kelly and her group to drive towards the hospital. Meanwhile, Wyatt and his team are in pursuit of the BMW, struggling to track it. Wyatt consults his tech team, discovering the BMW changed course near a hospital. Lucy, recognizing JFK's history of illness, hypothesizes that the teenagers might be heading to a nearby hospital. The tech team scans the area and identifies one hospital. At the hospital, JFK is amazed by the modern facility that instantly cures his stomach ache. While Kelly mentions her impending home party, JFK confides in her, making her promise not to disclose his revelation. When she agrees, JFK reveals he was kidnapped in 1934 and transported to the present using a time machine. Kelly dismisses it as hallucination due to medicine and takes him home. Simultaneously, Wyatt and his team arrive at the hospital, learning JFK is in room 325. They move to apprehend him, but discover a female assassin from the Rittenhouse is also tracking JFK. A confrontation ensues, leading to the assassin's escape. Wyatt, though apprehended, briefly escapes and continues the search. Back at Kelly's house, JFK blurts out his time traveler status. Kelly leads him to her room, where they bond over literature. She reveals JFK's future presidency on her iPad. Learning about his family's tragic history, JFK is devastated. Kelly encourages him to change his fate. Wyatt's team, unable to find clues, follows Lucy's suggestion to check Instagram pictures from the party. Face scans identify JFK, leading them to his location. Meanwhile, JFK, distressed, starts drinking excessively. Wyatt arrives, prompting JFK to run to the main hall. The female assassin reappears, aiming at JFK. Wyatt intervenes, causing chaos. Realizing Wyatt's team is trying to save him, JFK decides to trust them. He bids Kelly farewell, and the lifeboat team prepares to send JFK back to 1934. Martin, a tech guy, 
warns JFK not to reveal time travel information and advises against attending the Dallas rally. JFK disappears and returns to his time. Later, Martin anxiously questions his colleagues about JFK's fate. To his horror, JFK was still assassinated, but in Austin. The colleagues explain that time travel anomalies are corrected by the timeline, concluding the show as the lifeboat team readies for their next adventure. I thought I was